You know, there's nothing as good as producing your own herbs and produce and fruit and things like that from your own garden. You know what went into it. You can't get it any fresher than this. And there's a special kind of satisfaction and reward that you get from growing it yourself. And you know, when it comes to growing herbs, it could hardly be easier. All you want is a nice sunny location and a soil that's free draining. And with this new edibles line from Footprints Plants, you can get off to the perfect start. There's a really nice selection and just look at the size of these plants. Nice, big, strong, healthy specimens, well grown, ready to make a perfect transition into the site in your garden. And they're certified by Veriflora. That's America's highest standard for sustainability. It's an independent organization that inspects, audits, and monitors nurseries to make sure that they not only produce really nice quality plants, but they also adhere to rigorous environmental standards and also look after the well-being of the nursery workers, their families, and the community. What that means is that when you buy these plants, you can be sure that they're grown in a safe and natural way. They haven't been treated with dangerous agrochemicals and the nursery employs state-of-the-art energy, water and erosion conservation techniques, as well as protecting wildlife ecosystems and looking after its people. In other words, simply doing it the right way. Now another very nice feature of these plants is that they're grown in biodegradable pots which means that when you plant them into the ground the whole pot decomposes, there's no transplanting shock, there's no plastic to be recycled and so that it's very very easy and quick to get them started. And here's how to do it. When you get your plants home, first of all, make sure that they're nice and moist. Give them a good watering before you plant them. Then, just simply dig a good sized hole. Make sure that it's at least twice as wide and as deep as the pot. As you see, when you put it in the hole, make sure that there's plenty of room for the plants to grow there. So dig a good sized hole. And then what I like to do is to work in some compost. Just plant some, put some planting compost around the sides of the holes, perhaps even a little bit in the bottom of the hole. And then just work it in to the base of the hole. Then when you've got your hole ready, then just simply take your plant, aim it so that it's in the middle of the hole, and then just backfill the soil and the planting compost around it and that way you'll be able to get it to fill in all around the sides of the plant like so. Just backfill the rest of the soil and the compost. Just fill it up around just covering the edges of the pot really where you start to see the edges of the pot here and then just firm it in gently with your feet to make sure that the sides of the pot and the soil are in good contact and then finally the last thing to do is to just give it a good watering to get it started and then keep up with regular watering say for the next three or four weeks until the plants get established in the ground and especially if the weather turns dry. And in no time at all you can look forward to having lots of herbs and edible plants to bring into your kitchen. This is David Wilson. Enjoy your gardening. It's good for us and it's very good for our environment too.